Hello everyone, Darkplane here, back playing some more AFK Arena. And in this video, I want to look at the enrollment process for the Abyssal Expedition. So we have the Vault of Time, or the Abyssal Expedition, whatever you want to call it right here. Uh, basically what you do for this is you expand territories, drive out the evil occupiers from the settlement alongside your allies and expand your territory. Collect Blessed Relics. Settlements are able to provide you with Blessed Re Essence and Blessed Relics. Use these resources to make your heroes grow stronger. Overcome evil bosses. Break down the Veil of Darkness. The Stars of Dawn glow brightly in the Eternal Night, offering hope. And claim rewards. Dust settles and the ever-restless elements fall back to sleep. Bloody banners rise amongst the ruins, paying homage to the accolades of the brave. So that, yeah, that's basically what you do here. You just collect, you just uh, expand your territory, uh, collect relics, and then defeat the bosses. And it's a, it, it's a big map, so yeah, there, you have to collect a lot of territories to make it to the final boss here. Yeah, and there are, there are also multiple bosses to this. So yeah, you have to defeat multiple bosses. I'm going to look at the rewards here. Uh, there are two types of enrollment. There are, is the casual enrollment, and then there's the honorable enrollment. I'm going to look at the casual enrollment rewards here. Yeah, let's just get some get some uh, rare soul stones, elite soul stones with Baron. Uh, 20, uh, 20 normal scrolls, and there's the faction scrolls. And then at Prince, you get uh, 20 Stargazer cards. So yeah, definitely getting to Prince, that's... That's a big one, getting that 20 Stargazer cards, and also getting a bunch of Essence as well throughout uh, throughout the Abyssal Expedition. Yeah, and there's also these chests here, like the Baron Choice chest. You get 400 Twisted Essence or 3,000 Poke Coins. I would go for the Twisted Essence myself because I feel like those are more of a, of a rare resource than the Poke Coins. And you also have the uh, Earl Choice Chest, which gives you 50 Amplifying Emblems or 4,500 Po Coins. Um, I, I'm, I would be kind of split between these two. I mean, the, the Amplifying Emblems are pretty good, but also you get a full 10 pull of furniture with the Po Coins. Yeah, I think with this one, I would choose depending on what I really want here. And yeah, that 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 one, I'm split between the two. And then you also get the Duke Choice Chest, which gives you 50. A uh, red chest and 9,000 po coins. Yeah, I would probably choose the red chest, even though the 9,000 9, po coins gives you a full three, 310 pull of furniture, and that will give you a guaranteed mythic uh, furniture piece. I would still go for the red chest because those, because I'm I'm still needing red chests. You have to get uh, heroes plus 30 signature items, and those that's pretty much the casual rewards. So yeah, the Honorable rewards, they just give you, I believe they just give you slightly more rewards here, but the big thing here is with Duke and Prince. They give you an extra 3,000 diamonds if you reach uh, Duke, and an extra 3,000 diamonds if you reach Prince. So, yeah, you're getting 6,000 diamonds total if you get the Prince. Yeah, instead of uh, 20 Stargazer cards, they're giving you 25, so yeah, they're giving you slightly, slightly more rewards, but the main thing that people go for when going for honorable is getting the 6,000 diamonds from there. So yeah, those are the rewards. Let's look at uh, who's enrolled where. Uh, it looks like my guild is going for more of the casual route. Yeah, my, my guild, uh, since the last AE, has been more of a casual guild. But there's still some people here that are going for honorable. Yeah, I, I might go for honorable. Really, the main one of the other main differences between casual and honorable honorable enrollment is that uh, the casual enrollment is mainly for those people that that are not really serious about the Abyssal Expedition, and honorable enrollment is for those people that are really really wanting to get the Prince. And yeah, if you try, it's harder difficulty but better rewards here. And if you enroll here, you. If you enroll in the Honorable, you actually have to spend 3,000 diamonds to enroll in Honorable. So yeah, there's you have 3,000 diamonds on the line there. And yeah, you're getting 6,000 diamonds back. So you're getting a, a total of 3,000 diamonds back from the Honorable if you get the Prince. 
And yeah, if you roll for casual, you do not have to spend 3,000 diamonds. So there's not really as as much at, at stake with a casual casual enrollment as with the honorable enrollment. And yet the honorable enrollment cannot be canceled. So once when you spend the 3,000 diamonds for the honorable enrollment, you are in it. I think I'm going to... For this is my main account, I think for my main account, I'm going to spend the 3,000 diamonds to get into honorable. So yeah, I am now the fifth person enrolled in the honorable enrollment, and I cannot cancel that. So yeah, that's pretty much the enrollment process. Just click enroll, and then click if you want to spend on casual or honorable. Just remember that honorable, you have, you have to spend 3,000 diamonds. So I was at 8,000, now I'm at 5,000 diamonds there. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. There'll be a button above my head that will allow you to do that. And if you want to see some more of my other videos, there'll be some videos to the left of your screen. And thanks for watching.